kind of rooting through some of my first aid stuff this weekend and uh, thought I would do a quick review of this kit that I bought many years ago now probably on Sportsman's Guide or Cheaper Than Dirt or one of those catalogs and this would have probably been perhaps even pre-internet days or at least when I wasn't using the internet to do a lot of shopping because I can remember seeing this one in the catalog in sort of like their surplus pages and if I remember right it was about fourteen dollars it was a great purchase. It was. I'm always a fan of first aid kits, military first aid kits, and packs and pouches and things. And this is sort of all those. So it's. I forget what country now. Maybe Sweden. Uh, and it was sold as a as a surplus. Uh, maybe Swedish first aid kit. And uh, like I said, I think I paid maybe fifteen dollars for it. So to begin with, it's sort of. Uh, measure it here. We're looking at about. 14 inches this way by 9 by 9. So not a huge kit and uh, not real heavy. Or I've kind of taken some of the stuff out of it now so it's not as heavy as it used to be. But it's sort of a... Uh, I guess it's the same way that like a range bag kind of squares out because it's full of stuff. Um, maybe that'll give somebody some indication of where it came from. I'm sure somebody knows where this is from. So it has a shoulder strap and it has that crazy belt strap that I just kind of tightened on around the back there. And it's made out of this sort of rubberized vinyl stuff. And it's pretty heavy duty. The attachment points are all buckles and uh, slots here. So you can kind of age it or date it by that. You know, it wasn't Velcro or anything like that. Uh, on the top here, there's some wood for splints, I suspect. And pretty nice wood actually and I just left them in here now next to it there was this knife and I've always liked the knife but now that I'm paying a little more attention to stuff like this I think this might be a Mora or at least a Mora style let's take a look and see what it says here Eric Frost Mora Sweden so yeah I think this is just an old Mora so that's neat I've always liked the knife but now I like it even more now that I kinda know what it is so Anyway, it's a Mora style knife and it was just stuck in there along with all the rest of this stuff. So inside you can see it's, I guess, kind of designed maybe to keep clean or something, but you can't really open it all the way. There's these side panels, which again, probably good for water if you're out in the rain and mud and everything. You're not going to contaminate too much of your kit. Uh, right off on the sides, it's really hard to pull them out of there because it's vinyl and they're kind of, you can see they're kind of stuck in there. But anyway, these are pencils with pen caps. So that's how they do it in Sweden, I guess. And there's one on both sides. There's some snaps here with some boring stuff. I think I probably... I'm not sure if I added... No, I don't think I added this. I had was probably in there. But uh, triage cards. And uh, at least that's what I think they are. That's what I would consider them to be here. And uh, I think these have pictures of people on them. Yeah, so the doctor could go around or the medic could go around and you know write the problems and I don't need these but I just kept them with the kit you know historic reasons or whatever and it actually looks like these two cards are or at least this card is tied to the kit so I suspect this is probably an inventory card and again maybe somebody who knows what language this is or somebody can get some information from this card as to what we're looking at here so that's the front part or front pocket there snap that back up in the rest of the kit we've got a whole bunch of safety pins up here uh, and I suspect that's because that's how they would sort of uh, tie up their ace bandages or their elastic bandages uh, let's go back to tools we've got a really cool pair of scissors you know that are safety scissors so they're not gonna you know so cutting bandages or whatever they're just really big and stainless kinda cool and I've just kept them in here since they kinda fit good and then a big old pair of tweezers and again I just left them in here so then we've got some different types of bandages and these are bandages sort of in like what you might buy coffee in sort of heavy paper bag sort of waxed paper almost and then kind of fold it up on one end so heavy package that's technically got this like metal wires in there twist tie type of material and some more bandages like that there's actually a whole bunch in here and that's pretty much what most of this is now there is a crazy like coffee cup and then this like thing for a bar of soap I guess and it's cool because it's got their like military logo on there. 
the cup has their military logo too. And then uh, again, more bandages. Over here we've got, I was curious as to what these are because there's a bunch of them in here and I kind of stole a lot of these out of here. But it's a really heavy uh, material. I guess it's vinyl. I don't know what else to call it. You can see that there's cloth in there, but it's also rubberized. And if that date means 1957, we got an idea how old these are. And then I busted one open because I wanted to see what was going on in there. And it's a cool, like, sort of a padded dressing, which is going to be great for wounds. But it's got camo wrap, camo tails on it. So, perfect. This is exactly the kind of stuff I like to have in a trauma kit, especially on something like a go bag where, you know, if you're out hunting or something, what's the point of having a big white bandage on if you can, you know, use something like this and get a, a, a green bandage. So, I suspect that's what came out of here. There's also some extra safety pins or something in here. A little more gauze for what, uh, tying it up, I suspect. So that's what these kits were. I'll put it together later. And you can see they're about the size of a bar of soap. You can see the small gauze on this side and then the larger pad there. Uh, pretty cool. And if somebody can read this, it'll probably say bandage or something. There was a ton of those, and I've already snaked a bunch out for other kits. And I still got two, four, six in here. Uh, then there's some more of this other kind of bandage, which I never. I looked into this stuff to see if it was worth salvaging. And obviously this is the stuff that I didn't like as much. Now I've used, shown these in other kits, but there was also some of these. I believe these were out of here. And again, a really heavy canvas that seems to be waterproof. And I didn't open any of these because I don't have enough of them. But I suspect that, again, this is going to be a big military-style pad uh, bandage. So if you see the stuff on the, in the uh, catalogs, sometimes it's worth checking it out. Now that I know that's a Mora in there, I'm even more happy that I got this kit back when I did, and uh, I'm not so uh, much into collecting that I'll keep it together. I'll probably leave it like this or give it to a kid or something to play with, take the knife out, and then uh, use the rest of the bandages up, but um, I'll definitely keep using these and these uh, smaller packages in other kits, because this is definitely a score uh, just for these kind of weatherproof bandages and the knife some of the other tools alone it was definitely worth the 14 bucks anyway again keep these keep an eye out for this kind of stuff check out your gun shows that's a great source for stuff like this uh, surplus stores thanks for watching